Oh, jam! Hello again, and welcome back to another episode of Magic Duels. We are playing the Ether Revolt story. And we only have the big fight against uh, Tezzeret left. Be right back. I'm going to adjust the audio. So here we go. Let us smash Tezzeret. In theory. Renegade forces advance on the consulate spire from air and land, but the defenses hold strong. Chandra and Gideon devise a desperate plan. They will launch themselves through the air and pass the consulate troops into the spire to take out the planar bridge once and for all. Oh, I get it. So she's, uh... And he's, uh... Yeah, okay, that's weird. Let's go. Battle at the bridge, too. You must stop Tezzeret before he has enough mana to power the planar bridge. Gideon Chandra will help along the way. You also have the awesome power of the Heart of Kirin on your side. Good luck. Okay. Let's go. I have no land. Pyroclasm, built to last. Siege modification. Renegade Wheelsmith. Gideon's Avenger, Audacious Infiltrator. Well, I still don't have lands. Here we go, I have white lands and three Pyroclasm. Let's go to six. Oh my God, now we have two Pyroclasm, but I'm keeping it. This is so stupid. What is this? Oh, I just have a Heart of Kirin. Oh, and what is this? Gideon and Chandra will come to your aid during the battle. Cool! I love it when the boss battles are actually interesting. What do you have? Okay, we gotta stop you before you get to eight mana. Got it. And you have a steel wall. Great. Oh no, Tezzeret's spy network is almost complete. I don't know what that means. I guess we'll find out. Okay, Infiltrator, go! I got a Fury. And now we can... Tap this to crew the heart. And the heart can fly. Yes! That was, that was deliberate. I remembered that I had a Heart of Kirin. Shut up. You don't know me. You don't know my life. You're not my real dad. Oh, wait, what? What is this? Thopter Spy Network? Son of a... And a ravenous intruder. All right. Also, uh, unless this is my real dad watching this, in which case, what's up, old man? Although he's not, so not a concern. I need one more land and I can siege modification. Then this will be a, uh, wow, 7-4 flying vigilance first strike. That seems fine. All right, let's send him in. So we're going to crew you with this. Yep. And then we're gonna... Oh, because I can crew it as many times as I want. I was like, why is it still highlighted? And then we're gonna swing with both of these and say go. Because we have to brutally beat Tezzeret... De really? It's what? Oh, it's plus two, plus two. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh god, oh god, my head. Oh. That's okay, we got the wall out of the way, let's say. Oh, I can't. Oh. oh. Okay, I'm okay. Drowned Catacomb. Oh god, he's doing something. A filigree familiar? No, don't. No, don't gain two life and draw cards. Balls. Uh-oh. 
Oh, we got Gideon. Oh my god, it's old school Gideon. <sighs> He's so broken. <laughs> I still don't have more land, though. Instead, I have built to last. So I could totally pyroclasm and wipe his board, but that seems like a waste. We're gonna... What do we do here? I never actually played with Gideon, only against Gideon. And I don't know what to expect over here. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna plus two on this. 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 Choose an opponent. Oh, right. Creatures that player controls. Wow. Okay. So now we're going to crew this up. Yep. 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 Also, if I get one more mana, I can build to last and pyroclasm and save my dude. Just need one more mana. Okay, so now we move into combat. Hopefully he won't kill Gideon. I didn't see what I mean. This is what you get for just not reading the card. I didn't realize it was all of his creatures. Whoops. Been too long. RTFC. All that good stuff. We got him down to 30, and he's got three land. And another Thopter. What you got? Oh, oh okay, there's four land. I think I should have 660 him and just... Ah! Okay, there's... Oh, it's so loud. There's three. Four, five, six, seven. Fabricate two. Okay, he's gonna make some servos. Oh, he's not. Okay. Three, four, five, six. That's not enough to kill him. Nice. I am cool with this. What the hell was that? Did he just sack the planar bridge? What? You're not... What? What? <laughs> You're not supposed to... What? What? <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? I'm so scared. <laughs> okay. We'll just, uh... So does that mean I still have to win before he hits eight mana? I'm seriously tripped out right now. Let's just swing and see what happens. I really want to Lightning Helix this, but I know he'll just, like, sack this to save it. Which would get this out of the way, but that doesn't actually help any. I guess I'll just save the Helix? Because Pirate Class M won't actually wipe his board either. I just need one more mana, dude. This is ridiculous. One more mana, comma, dude. Not one more mana, dude. I don't think I have mana dudes. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I am going to go ahead... No. And Helix this. There we go. Okay. Can I get more mana? I want more mana. <gasps> Do we get Chandra? Hey, girl! Okay, now we're talking. It's a mana of the wrong color, so I can't siege modification, but we're gonna build to last this guy. Then we're gonna pyroclasm. Yeah. Wow, you're stupid. Then. We're gonna kill it! Boom! Thanks, Chandra! Then we're gonna, uh... Wait, you're only four. 
So we're just gonna attack. Because that's more damage, you see. Haha! -ha. Okay, your turn. Well, that was easy. Why would you not just sack them all to the uh, Ravenous Intruder? Okay, well, that's a moderate to severe problem. Hey, look, red mana. I know I could have used her uh, plus one, I just didn't. I, w I really wanted to kill that thing. So, adding two red doesn't do anything. I think I just siege modify this and start swinging for a billion, right? Yeah. Let's do it! Swing for a billion! A full billion, none of this partial billion nonsense. Okay, and then I'll, uh, I'm still in combat. Never mind. Shortcuts are not a thing. Yeah, take it. What did I get? Oh, Sun Titan? Cool. Okay, you get a stupid fu- Nah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh no! Not my charger, you bastard. I, I can't, I can't block, it has menace. I got both of my planeswalker helpers killed. I am just the worst. Oh, hey look, red mana. Target player. Well, let's get rid of that Thopter. And then swing. This is not terribly uh, epic if I just... Oh no, what is this? Three plus the number of artifacts you control. You rat bastard. I've lost all of my toys. All of my free things. My planeswalker, my heart. Oh, I'm fired. I have a pyroclasm in hand. I'm just the worst. Welding sparks? Damn! Bad at this game. And there's Howard of Anguish! And I lose my pyroclasm. And there's a steel wall. Tezzeret, you suck. Well, gee, I wonder which one I'll discard. What do you do? You just kill the. Oh, I got mana. 5, 10, 11. I've got one turn left to deal 9 damage. This sucks. <clears throat> He'd be dead right now if I could have gotten a second red mana like ever, and he's got his Sky Sovereign. Oh, how nice. Deal nine damage to target opponent. Two damage. All right, well, let's just restart, because we lost. We lost bad. It was real bad. We get these angry looking people again. Okay, so we've got three land. Sun Titan, Siege Modification, True Conviction, and a Pyroclasm. Alright, I'm gonna try it. Everything is slow, but I do have Siege Modification to just turn this on and start beating for seven immediately because I actually have freaking mana. Oh, we mulled a six in that first game too, didn't we? Buh. Terrible. Besides, if we can ever get up to True Conviction or Sun Titan, I think we just win, right? I think so. Alright, well, here we go. Smashy, smashy, run you over. 
Excuse me, Tesseret. Do you mind if I utterly destroy your face? Would that be all right? Can your dreads handle that? Okay. Guess we'll find out. So let's see. Doing seven. It's a six turn clock. I guess now it's a five turn <gasps> clock. Excuse me with the hiccups. Oh my god, we get Gideon. And a wheelsmith. Oh my god. We're just gonna go 6-6. Six, six, and we're gonna swing for a million. Oh, that was stupid. Oh, he's summoning si Oh, he's forget. Oh, he just showed up. Oh my god, I'm fired. I'm so fired. And he's got welding sparks. Who said you could have welding sparks again? Oh, I hate this game. I hate it so much. I hate my face. I hate Tezzeret. I hate these two trying to look like they know what they're doing. You don't know what you're doing. You're making this up as you go. Oh my god. What are you doing? Oh. Hello. Luckily, the Heart of Kieran only costs two, so Sun Titan totally gets it back. It's just one more land after this one. That's not it. You know what? Screw it. I'm actually gonna do the same trick again. I'm built to last. Pyroclasm. Wipe his board. Swing for 11. Hey, look, 6-6. Six, six. He doesn't have haste, stupid. Uh huh. Choose a creature. Uh, Gideon, you can't block this turn. Thanks, game. Oh, 24. Nice. Look, you got a stupid Thopter. Tezzeret? Well, there goes my wheelsmith. Damn it. Yup. Oh, oh, hi. You would come in tapped, wouldn't you, you smart ass? So I could totally cast the Sun Titan. Where'd my land, oh, there it is. <laughs> Where'd my land go? Or I could cast the True Conviction. Double Strife and Like Link. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, let's let's add the two red. Thank you. That's cute. And let's uh, Sun Titan. Wham! Get back the heart of Kieran. Yeah. Yeah. Nice! And now you... are gonna... 6-6. Six, six. And you're actually gonna swing at Tezzeret to force him to block. Is he gonna block? He's thinking. Yeah, there he goes. Sweet. Next turn, I think I'll just drop the True Conviction and everybody will swing at, tez at uh, this Tezzeret, not little Tezzeret there. Yeah. Yeah. How many artifacts do you currently control? Looks like two. One. Two. Three! Gasp! Rolling Sparks. Okay, there goes my, uh, yep. Bye, Sun Titan. Damn it. Freaking Welding Sparks. Rat bastard. Okay. He's also not hitting every land drop, which is very nice. I, however, am hitting every freaking land drop. Yumpin' Jesus. Okay. I don't care about your creatures. Let's just plus one Chandra. 
Oh, can't cast it. Okay, yeah, we're gonna deal the damage there. Nice. Okay, here we go. Gideon's gonna lose a loyalty counter to crew the heart. Gideon's gonna turn into 6-6. Six, six. And then we're gonna play True Conviction because I'm a bastard. <laughs> and then we're gonna go combat. We're gonna smash the hell out of everything and everyone that has ever lived, ever. What are you gonna attack? There. What are you gonna attack? There. I don't give a damn about little Tezzeret anymore. Oh my god, Chandra can keep him in check. He's all tapped out, he don't know what to do. And then you turn around and oh my god! Okay, don't block, that's fine. Is that look at the top X? Tap to look at the top X. He looked at one and put it in his hand. Okay. I am thoroughly confused right now. But okay. Oh, look, a land. Did he really just tap four mana to look at one card and put it in his hand? What does that do? And he's sending one at Chandra. I'm so confused. Okay. Uh, yeah, I could have crewed up the heart to stop it, but why, why, why? Oh, no, oh, I'm, in, I'm stupid, oh god. Okay, well, you get a free turn, jackass, cause I'm an idiot. Oh, I didn't use Chandra either. Mm. Mm. Okay, well now if I lose, I deserve it. I didn't, I didn't use either of them in the second main, cause I'm an idiot. What'd you do? Oh, you just made another, okay. Okay, there's Howard. Hey, buddy. You gonna make me discard? I don't wanna discard. Okay. Okay. I have no idea what's going on on that side of the board. I know everybody's tapped for reasons I don't understand. Oh, okay, there goes the Evolving Wilds, all right. Tezzeret is making choices, please wait. Oh, okay, he's good. Damn it, Howard, you're a bastard. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna totally cast that spell. Actually, it really doesn't matter, does it? Because I'm gonna do it to his face, so yeah, don't bother. <laughs> Boom! Okay, we're gonna not continue. We're gonna Gideon's a 6-6. Six, six. Anything else? Oh, yeah, we win, because he's only got... Oh. He's only got one untapped creature for some reason, so we remove a loyalty from Chandra. We got it. We're good. We're good. Everybody's good. Look at me not screwing it up this time. And now everybody swings here. And that's game over, man. Sick. Look, Tezzeret, you're so bad at this even when I royally screw up. You still can't win. I have to confirm the attack. I'm just gloating. I'm just gloating and not confirming the attack and I'm, an, I'm the actual worst. Bing, bing, bing. The planar bridge is destroyed, but Tezzeret simply laughs. He reveals his work here has been in service to the dragon Nicobolas, and he also divulges the location of his master's planar lair. Despite Ajani's warning to avoid... 
because Johnny knows, despite a Johnny's warning to avoid facing Bolas without reinforcements, the rest of the Gatewatch decide to press forward to Amon Ket. Yeah, because they're impetuous and stupid. So yeah, why would he be like, ha ha ha, I was doing all of this for Nicol Bolas, who can conveniently be found at this planar address. Like, do they not smell a trap? Because I can smell a trap, and I'm not even there. Either that, it, I mean, it doesn't give enough, I haven't read the story, obviously, but so either Tezzeret is like, no, don't go to this address right now. Or Tezzeret's like, okay, you got me. Thank goodness. It's that bastard dragon. Here's where you can find him. Go get him, damn it. But either way, I don't think I'd trust that either, so. I don't know, man. But whatever. So there you go. That's the Aether Revolt story. Just in time for Amonkhet to drop in another month? ish I have no idea yeah so like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you want to know as soon as the next one goes up and all the ones after that if you think someone else would enjoy this then please do share it with them and if you want to help support what I do check out the patreon every little bit helps and I really do appreciate it Chandra's still just pointing she's like over there look behind you seriously look over look behind Psst. hey Look behind you. I'm not falling for it, Chandra. I'm not falling for it. So yeah, I've been Chewy. Thank you all so very much for watching, and uh, go play some Magic Duels. Yay, this is fun. Unlike smacking Chandra around. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> I killed your father. You thought I killed your mother. Now I'm gonna smack you around. <laughs> what are you? Oh, a swooper. I really thought you'd play the big guy and swing at me while you had free, but I guess not.